Hey guys, Angel here. I just want to go ahead and apologize if what is on the screen is making your head explode because it definitely made my head explode the first time I saw it. This is the Coach Holographic Wristlet and Bennett Satchel um, that they just released over this past weekend. Um, I got an email from Coach last week and I just immediately said, take all my money. I had to have this purse, so I went and got it this past weekend. I posted this picture on my Instagram once I had my new purse babies home and everybody kind of went a little bananas. It was actually kind of hilarious. And here I am fondling my new purse. Next up, I'll show you how I got this matching hollow rainbow gradient mani. P.S. I say hollow, not holo, because it's holographic. Different Dimension Big Bang and Bundle Monster Buy Me Diamonds. Glisten and Glow Fireball Cider. Electric Lemonade. Club and Teal Dawn. Blue on Blue. And Purple Haze. Here I'm putting on Yellow Stopper Base Coat. I know some people don't really care for this base coat, but I don't know, it works for me and I actually use it as my peel off base coat. It works pretty good. Now that my base coat's on, I did one thin coat of Bundle Monster Buy Me Diamonds. It's very opaque in two coats. This one looks kind of thin though. Then one thin coat of Different Dimension Big Bang. This is a glitter bomb and it's actually completely opaque in two coats. Recommend this one. I really wanted the hollow base colors to be the star of the show, so I just applied the polish colors super thinly on half of the nail. So that one right there was uh, blue on blue, um, just very thinly, and I applied them in rainbow order. And then on the other half of the nail, I did Clubbing Teal Dawn, and I just kind of uh, blended them together with the brush. I was going to use a sponge to do this, but then I was like, they're going to be so thin, you won't even be able to tell the difference if I just smush them together. And on the middle nail here, I did Clubbing Teal Dawn on the right to match the Clubbing Teal Dawn on the left side of the ring nail. Get it? See what I'm doing here? And then on the left is Electric Lemonade, which I absolutely love this color. It's so pretty. And then more Electric Lemonade on the index finger on the right side. And then on the left side is Fireball Cider. And again, I just kind of smush them together and I just realized that I did not film my pinky nail, but on my pinky nail, I used purple haze and blue on blue. I think the layering of these polishes over the super silver hollow colors underneath really shows and mimics the flash of the purse. But wait, there's more! I couldn't just leave it like this, so I decided to do some stamping on top of it. Before stamping, I like to use another coat of Yellow Stopper because then you can let the polish dry on your stamper and the stickiness of this lets the dry polish transfer to your nail. I feel like that tip has changed my stamping game so much because now I don't have to worry about transferring the polish on the stamper to my nail super quickly. And here I'm using Glisten and Glow Liquid Latex. It's called Control Alt Delete, and I love that it's pink. For the stamping, I used Bundle Monster Noir Black Stamping Polish and Plate BM-S105, and I used their, um, I think it's called the Mega Stamper. And I don't know, I didn't really end up liking the pattern that I chose. It's cute, but I feel like I should have went for something maybe a little more graphic, but it came out okay. More stamping on my middle nail. On my index finger, I didn't want to use an entire pattern. I just wanted that little flower. So I took a little tape to remove um, the excess. And then I did this and ripped it up and threw a hissy fit. <laughs> Completely out of focus here, but I actually picked up the excess with the tape correctly this time, and here it is on my index finger. It's coming, wait for it, there it is. And then I just peeled off all of my liquid latex. And I don't know how people do this on camera so nicely because like off camera, I can get it to peel off so easy, but doing it at this angle, I feel like I just look like I have no idea what I'm doing, which I mean, that could be true, I don't know. <laughs> 
then I top coated with some HK Girl Top Coat, my H G O G Top Coat. And here is the finished Manny. I really love the subtle rainbow look this has. I think it definitely represents the purse. I'm actually kind of proud of this, other than the stamping not being my favorite, but I really like how this came out. So thank you so much guys for watching my second tutorial. Um, and if you want, you can like, leave me a comment, please subscribe, and you can follow me on Snapchat and Instagram at twy underscore star. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.